First throw from Trace McSorley. Near side, and Marquise Brown makes the catch for Baltimore. A two-back set. That's a tremendous bootleg by McSorley, who has an easy first down. Three of those guys are legit pass rushers. You don't see that very often. Man in motion on second down. Jet sweep blown up. Completely blown up by Brandon Graham. Fooled him once, not the second time. And last week he was good against the Jags and makes another play here. Here they come. And McSorley keeps the play alive and throws it away. Four-man rush coming. And McSorley gets rid of it quickly. Juggling catch. That's going to end up being positive yardage on the play. First down for the 28-yard line. McSorley has some time. And an open receiver. That's going to be big game down that sideline. All the way down to the Eagles 30 for rookie Miles Boyd. A lot of space there for the receiver to make a move after he catches it. And for that 44-yard gain, right back to the air they go. And Marquise Brown with the catch. Takes it down to the 23 for a pickup of five. So first down now from the 18. McSorley with a big rush coming, throws it away. Moore was in motion and very well covered. He ran a two-back offense so they could get some reps against that. They haven't seen a whole lot of it. It's a look that they are going to see during the course of the year. Welcome back, Rodney McLeod. With the speed, number 23 flash there. Third down with a flag on the play. The pass across the middle is complete, short of first down yard. It's to Justice Hill. Now we'll see about the flag that came right at the snap of the football. And the guys out there now, Scott, are really the guys they need to see to make their decisions next week. McSorley's got time. And that throw is incomplete. Lamar Jackson and RG3 are the two incumbent quarterbacks. The throw to the outside is indeed a catch for Brown. The man in motion on third and five. McSorley throws to a wide open receiver for first down yardage. And Mark Andrews yards after the catch. Wow. All the way down to the five yard line for it. Second down now, second and goal for Baltimore. Trying to get into the end zone for the first time tonight. McSorley's got room, throws. Late decision on the throw, and it's incomplete. Right, or really maybe competing for one spot. McSorley going to try to run it in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Extended the arm before the knee hit. Knee isn't down until right then. Very hard to tell as the officials take a look. Getting some extended time. Wow, that's a nice move. The throw to the far sideline. About how this team has looked overall. It's the execution more than anything else. That is wide open. Look out. Big yardage for a first down and more down the sideline. Michael Floyd, 16 yards on the pickup. He was uncovered. All fighting to prove they should be on this team. On second down, the throw to the outside. Good extension from Hayden Hurst. And he gets it down to the 28-yard line. Down, they've got to get it to the 23. Rush coming, McSorley going up top. Good throw for the touchdown. On the near sideline, the veteran Michael Floyd beats his man, and McSorley drops one in there. Years, best in Penn State history. Going for a two-point conversion, and this one glances right off the fingertips of Michael Floyd. Drive to get him moving. McSorley throws. Laid across the middle to Chris Moore, and another flag comes. There's no doubt about the fact. Yeah, I think it was more the weight. Yep. The Raven. John Harbaugh, the former Eagles special teams coordinator. Throw to the outside, all kinds of contact. McSorley's got a little bit of time. And downfield for first down yardage. And a smart play made by Chris Moore's Josh Sweat and Deshaun Hall after their respective penalties. Sorley back to work, up top, got a man, can't quite get there. Trade to the Arizona Cardinals for a safety, Rudy Ford. Across the middle. Against the Eagles defense, that was awesome. There was like a snap every five seconds, and my head was going back and forth. Back shoulder throw, good coverage. Back down to the end zone by Josh Hawkins, and it falls incomplete. I haven't exactly seen 
a time capsule kind of game here. I, I think it's about the priority and the emphasis Harbaugh puts on it, game planning to make sure they have success in these games. He clearly wants to win. Big rush coming. McSorley throws touchdown. Once again, adjustment to the football by Jaleel Scott in the on a very, very talented roster. McSorley still in there at quarterback to start this third quarter. And throwing once again, trying to find his man Jaleel Scott. Flag on the play. McSorley sends a man in motion. Setting up the screen. That's going absolutely nowhere. That is sniffed out beautifully by LJ Ford. Uh, Josh Sweat at the bottom should be able to feast on the backups now. McSorley threw it flat footed. And got a yard, maybe two. Third down, they've got to get it to the 35. Blitz coming. McSorley's got pressure. Stands in the pocket and nearly gets picked off. On the near side, McKinnon got his hands on the football, but it went through, and that means the punting unit comes out once again for Baltimore. Keeping it himself, McSorley's got nowhere to go. T.J. Edwards stayed right with him and throws it for a loss of a yard. So another third down coming up now for Baltimore. Third down, they've got to get it to the 18-yard line. Pressure coming. McSorley throws it. A flag on the play. It's going to be short of first down yardage by a couple. We'll see about the flag.